Hey everybody, uh, welcome to the uh, Lindsay Machine Racing Shop. Uh, I'm a fanboy today, I've got my Lindsay Machine Racing uh, shirt on. <laughs> and uh, we actually are at the flow bench here getting ready for uh, Davey to do his magic. And um, so basically the setup is we've got a table here with an adapter plate. Uh, we've got the Athena Big Bore Cylinder here. Um, it's been greased on the bottom to seal it up. And then we've got the head here that's been set up with a dial indicator so that he can uh, place the head on the cylinder and uh, change the amount of valve opening and look at the amount of valve flow or port flow that we have on the intake and the exhaust. So uh, this is his busy time of season. He's super busy with uh, Easter weekend. So uh, we're probably not going to try to take too much of his time explaining what he's going to do. Also. Uh, some of this knowledge is proprietary knowledge that he's learned over years of porting. So we, uh, we want to respect that and um, he's not going to tell us what he's doing to the, to the ports. He's just going to tell us what the, what the outcome is. So uh, hang tight and we'll get uh, started with a little uh, flow bench and port work. So guys, uh... What uh, Davey's got going on here is uh, he's creating a, a, out of clay a little, a more or less, a, a little kind of modeling to, to get rid of the sharp edge from the port, which will affect the flow. Um, I forgot to get the boot. He prefers to have the boot, but uh, in my hurriedness to get here, I forgot it. So uh, we're going to do this. This is how he did the Katsumi's head. Um, just with a little clay rounded edge around it. So uh, when we start setting up the flow bench, you'll see that there's a flow bench um, plate. There's an adapter plate. On top of that, we have the Athena Big Bore cylinder. And directly on top of that, we have the cylinder head that is clamped down with the two clamps and then there's a dial indicator on top that has an adapter that allows you to open up the intake valves or the exhaust valves depending on uh, how it's connected to the head in order to um, control the amount of valve lift while the flow bench is running the uh, air whether it be vacuum or air pressure uh, you push air out the exhaust port and you pull air in through the intake port and there's a little valve that you can switch to change the direction of the airflow. And then there's a sensor that uh, feeds into the computer. The computer is able to then take um, a reading on the volume of airflow as well as the amount of pressure that's there and it will give a reading and as you test each of the individual opening uh, of the valves it'll give you how much flow is going through it then as you go back and do your porting you can come back and retest the same position in the same way with the same amount of airflow and you can see if the ports are flowing better or if they're flowing worse and um, that's how you basically set it up
Now as we get ready to start porting this cylinder head, uh, you will notice that there are several tools that Davey at Lindsay Machine Racing uses. He will have uh, either electronic or electric driven die grinders or air driven die grinders with long uh, shafts onto a, a grinding wheel of some sort or there's multiple different shapes and lengths to allow him to get into the port and make the changes that he wants to make. Uh, he's done this for such a long time and with so many different types of heads that he knows what a good shape of port should be and uh, the way he describes it to me is you want to get the maximum amount of port velocity um, which is get the maximum amount of airflow with the smallest ports and uh, the shape of the port has a lot to do with it so as he's going around and changing this head position and looking at it and grinding away here and grinding away there uh, we then go and clean the head, reassemble the whole thing, and it goes back on the flow bench so he can see how his changes with the porting have affected the flow. And in the end, he increased flow everywhere. Uh, it was amazing to me to see how much improvement over the stock head, even with a well-designed head to begin with. Okay everybody, uh, we've kind of got uh, round one of uh, this head ported. Um, uh, baby's actually just taking a quick break to eat. He's been working on this thing like crazy. Um, he's uh, cleaned it, put it all back together after he started working on the intake port. I just want to show you if I can do it with this uh, light. Uh, this thing, look at how nice and polished that is. Um, I'm not revealing to you the secrets of what he's done, but uh, I, I understand what he's trying to accomplish, but they're all ooh and an on over the stock uh, port on this head. And I'm going to sit it up right like it would be on a bike and show you the angle that the port comes in to the valves is very, very good. In other words, it, when it drops in, um, it hits, you can see a lot of the surface of the valve there is open. So this is a great design and they're actually wondering why the, the race bikes aren't set up like this. So um, pretty cool. Right now he's uh, taking some material away in certain places and trying to keep port velocity high and he's just taking a quick little break and then we're going to head back up uh, to the flow bench and test it and see what's happened. But um, he's actually talking about maybe even using some filler in certain parts to try to change the shape of the port. But um, man, it's <laughs> beautiful work. I mean, it's really just, I mean, it's, it's like artwork. I mean, this is a, I mean, it's just so nice. Very methodical about what he's doing. Looking great. <laughs> 